welcome to my channel once again so today in this video i want to be doing something quite different as you can see i'm in my white coat in the pharmacy at the moment in the hospital and so i want to do something pharmacy related basically what i want to co cover in this particular video is to share with you five main questions that you need to ask your pharmacist anytime that you are in the pharmacy to get any medicines this is supposed to help you use your medications appropriately. One key thing is that most conditions that people present with may be as a result of a side effect of a particular medication they were on. And most of these effects or these adverse effects are as a result of wrong usage of the medicines. So these questions are supposed to guide you to be able to use your medicines appropriately as described by the pharmacist. So let's move on straight to the purpose of this video. The first question you want to ask your pharmacist anytime you're in a pharmacy to get any medicine is how should I take this medicine? So anytime you get any medicine, so for instance, let's say the pharmacist has given you this particular medicine, or whatever medicine it is, it could be any medicine at all, but you need to know how to use it because every medicine has its own use. For instance, this is omeprazole injection. An injection means it's supposed to be injected into a part of your body. And your pharmacy is supposed to give you the guideline as to how to use this particular medicine. Some medicines are for you to swallow, others for you to chew, others for you to insert into the rectum. So every medicine has its own way of using. One thing that you need to know is that there are something we refer to as the kinetics of the drug and the dynamics of the drug this implies how the drug is able to move inside your body and how it works inside your body so it has been studied to know the best way out that is why it has been prescribed as such so if your pharmacist say you are supposed to swallow and not to chew you have to do what to swallow the medicine and not to chew it so in every situation in any medication that you are going to use be mindful to know how to take the medicine The next question you want to ask your pharmacist is when do i take this medicine so now you know how you are going to take your medicine for instance if you are going to swallow that particular medicine when should you swallow it should you swallow it at night or morning afternoon evening or even early morning this is also important because as I mentioned earlier, the dynamics of the medications and the, dy the kinetics have been studied and it has shown that at a particular interval, at a particular point in time, when you take it, you get the most benefit. So there are some things that you are solely to take them at night only. So if you know that this particular medicine you are supposed to take at night only, then you want to make sure that every night you are taking it. Otherwise, when you take them in the morning, you may not be able to achieve the effect that is required that's why it is you are supposed to be taking it at night or otherwise you may be facing having some effects that may not be pleasant in the daytime that is why you are being asked to take it in the night also there are some medications that you need to take in the day for instance there are medications that allows you to urinate a lot and hence such medications we advise that you take them usually in the morning because during the daytime you are fast awake and hence this would need to be a bother so much but in case you take such a medicine at night you know that it's going to wake you up along the night for you to go out to urinate and this is going to disturb your sleep if you have work to do the following day it's also subsequently going to affect your day hence it's important for you to pay attention to what your pharmacist is about when to take that medicine so question number three you need to ask your pharmacist when do i take this medicine with respect to food as in do i take the medicine after i've eaten or do i take it on empty stomach why is this one also important well there are some medications that are absorbed very well when they are taken together with food that is if there is food in your tummy then it's likely to absorb help absorb the medication that you have taken on the other hand there are some medications that are only absorbed or very well absorbed when you take them on empty stomach so you want to ask your pharmacist to know when should you take the medicines also on the other end some medicines are such that when you take them on empty stomach they end up causing more harm to yourself like 
uh, inducing ulcers so in such situations you definitely want to take some medicine some food before you take your medicines there are some ideas too that will weaken you when you take them on empty stomach and you don't want to have that uh, feeling after taking any medicine so you want to ask your pharmacist to be sure of when to take the medicines also there are others that do not mind whether you take them on uh, empty stomach or you take them with food or after meals so if you have such medication then you are free to uh, take it at any point in time with respect to food question number four the next question you want to ask your pharmacist is when should i stop taking this medicine this question is also important because you may not that there is a duration for every medicine that you are taking and sometimes it even depends on the condition that you have so depending on the disease condition that you present to the pharmacy with the pharmacist may be able to advise you that you are supposed to take this medicine for this number of days or you are supposed to take this medicine for the rest of your life that maybe may sound scary but that is the fact there are some conditions that are going to stay with you forever and hence you need to take your medicines to suppress the condition so the very moment you stop taking it or a while after stop you stop taking your medicines you realize that the condition comes back or it gets even worse so you want to stay on your medications for life if the pharmacist tells you to there are some medications that you take as long as you are sick once you are you get better you can easily stop taking the medication for example medications that we use to control pain if you are in pain and you want to control it once you control the pain there will be no need to use the medicines on the other hand there are some other medications that needs to follow a certain course that's a course of days a number of days so for instance a pharmacist may tell you to take this particular medicine for about five days or for seven days if so then you want to stick to it because uh, most of the time these medications even though have been uh, designated for this number of days you once you start taking you are likely to get better along the line so for instance if you are asked to take a medicine for five days by the third day you probably may be feeling better and you may think that there is no need taking the medicines again but that is not true once you've been told that take it for five days there is a reason why you are supposed to take it for five days the basic reason is that for the five days that is when it's been realized that all the microorganisms causing the particular disease that you are suffering from will be eradicated from your system so at the time you take it for let's say three days and you are feeling better what it means is that the number of the microorganisms have been reduced to a very small number that they are not having much impact on you but they've not been cleared totally from the body so once you start you stop taking it they are likely to come back again more stronger the analogy that i used to explain this is that when you want to get rid of a tree if you decide to cut the tree by the stem level what's going to happen is that the tree is going to spring up again and this time with more strength or more stronger than it used to be because it's going to develop more roots in order to regenerate but if you cut the tree at the root level then you've uprooted it you are sure not to get this uh, plant or this tree regenerating again so what's going to happen in the situation of the microorganisms is that once you reduce them to a certain level and you don't eradicate them or you don't get rid of them totally they are going to be acquainted with the medication that you use to treat them and they are going to form some kind of layer or form of resistance against this medicine such that the next time they see the medicine they have a protective layer or a protective measure against the medicine so the medicine is not effective against them you don't want to contribute to this form of resistance by taking your medications and also once they rebound once they come back again they come back more severe and the condition is worsen than you can imagine and treating it is also quite difficult so you don't want to get to that state by knowing when to take your medicines and when to stop them and sticking to that regimen the last question you want to ask a pharmacist is what is the expiry date of this medicine this is also important because as any other product that we take inside us or even those that we apply onto the body you don't want to take any expired products the fact is every drug they say is a poison on its own 
it is the dose that determine whether it's a poison or a drug so if a drug can be a poison or is a poison on its own if it gets expired what more do you want from it it becomes more toxic than you can imagine and you definitely do not want to consume expired drugs so ask your pharmacist the expiry date of your drug if possible if not you can as well um, read if you can read then you can check the container of the medicine for the expiry date then you know if it is expired do all to return the drug to the pharmacist and not to use it this will save you both your money and your life i always say that once you are going to the pharmacy to get any medicines it is your money that you are paying to the pharmacy so pay money to prolong your life and not to shorten your life know these tips as i have discussed above so that you will use your medicines appropriately and get the best effect from the medicines as you expect thank you for watching to the end of the video i'm very happy you're able to watch through to the end and i hope you have really learned something from here if there is any challenge that you have communicating with your pharmacist comments below the challenges that you have communicating your pharmacist or some questions that you think you can ask your pharmacist that i didn't talk about so that subsequently i can handle them in other videos once again thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and i hope to see you in the next video